I'm Nicole, welcome. I hope you stick around and enjoy some more of my videos. So today's Wednesday, I just got, I didn't just get back from doing my nails, but um, I went to go do my nails earlier and I brought you along for that. After that we went to Discam. And I got a couple of stuff, so I wanna show you that. And then I'll give you a little update after that. But first, my fortune cookies are melting. Um, do you want to know what my fortune says? Let's open them. I have two here. It doesn't look great, but it tastes really good. Let's crack this boy open. I don't want to miss. Oh! That's what I get. Mmm. It's yummy. Okay. My first fortune says... Only love lets us see normal things in an extraordinary way. Love that. My second fortune says, No one knows what he can do until he tries. Well, then. That was delicious and informative. Okay. Um, now I'm going to show you what I got from Discam. Um, I spent about 373 rand. They were having a promotion for like different makeup brands and all that fun stuff. They have promotions like all over the store, but I went to something for makeup. The first thing that I got is this foundation that I've been meaning to get like for so long now. It's the Maybelline 20. Oh, they changed it. You, uh, did they? I'm pretty sure I've had this. You know what? Never mind. It's the Maybelline Super Stay Active Wear 30 hour foundation i got it in the number 60 caramel caramel is typically my color if it's not i'll have i will lighten it with concealer so i got one of these this was on promotion let me give you some prices mm, i paid 170 it was a discount of 43 bucks okay that's number one I got this extreme I got this essence extreme shine volume lip gloss only because I saw it on someone's Instagram um it's this one it's in the color sweet dreams this is this light pink with glitter all over it um this one hold on I got another one it's extreme shine volume lip gloss this one is in the color oh uh, this one doesn't have a color oh never mind this one is in the color Shadow Rose. That's what that looks like. Can you see that? Yeah, there we go. There's a color. Don't focus on me. It's a really pretty, like, nudey brown color. Pinky, mauve, all of those colors put together. Um, these both say, no. Nope. This one says Extreme Plumping. This one says nothing. I saw it on um, someone's uh what's it instagram stories and then i decided to pick two up so i got those uh and then i got a concealer from uh la girl this is in the color medium beige it looks like a pretty good highlight color oh yeah oh yeah okay one more thing actually two more things i got another one of these safeguard uh hand sanitizer sprays only because they made it so that the top is not is not screw you can't unscrew it basically it's almost been like like put on by a machine or something um where you cannot take the top off you can't like unscrew it and pull your own liquid um which i guess was the whole point of making it 15 bucks so that you can go back and buy it or rather repurchase it so I went to a repurchase it because the only way to take the top off is if you use tweezers and I'm pretty sure as time goes that section that you are lifting is going to start wearing and then the um, integrity of the bottle will be compromised because everything will surely spill out. Lastly, I got myself a treat. Is it melted? I got myself a snoop. Update on the iPad situation. So, 
I am like my savings for the iPad are done. I am waiting to get it. Um, I think I'll probably get it in December. Um, just so that it's a little bit closer to Christmas. But I've already started purchasing things for the iPad. So when I was doing my calculations, I knew that I wanted an iPad. But I also knew that I didn't want um, to have to... Like I wanted like a proper setup, right? It's not going to replace my laptop in any way. But I wanted to be able to use it very comfortably. So um, Apple has the magic keyboard or yeah i think it's called the magic keyboard yeah pretty sure that they, they have a new one it's white this year um but they have a magic keyboard and it's a case for the ipad that has a keyboard attached to it and a little trackpad and so that keyboard costs or rather that case costs um about eight thousand bucks about seven point something so close to eight thousand bucks and i knew that that was definitely not going to be in my budget so i forewent that and i thought about how i can have that same setup but at a lower cost and so i purchased this logitech mouse um i got it for about 4 30 something on take a lot um let me show how it looks first of all i love the colors the colors i love the color of this mouse it's a beautiful color beautiful mauvey color i'm obsessed with it so i got this mouse so that i can um navigate my ipad without having to touch the screen i would show you if it came out of the box so this is the mouse it's super cute i love this color it's such a muted nude no, it's such a muted pink. Um, I'm obsessed with it. So I purchased that. I'll put that back just now. And then I also got a keyboard. Um, same color. Beautiful muted pink. And this is a wireless like Bluetooth keyboard. So And this is a Bluetooth mouse as well. So I just connect them to my devices. Whichever devices I want to use them on. And then I also purchased a couple of different cases for my um ipad the ones that are they're called folio cases so they like bend so that the ipad can like stand and lean but i also did get a um tablet stand um like an aluminium one just in case uh all of the cases um don't really work uh as well as they should so okay. all the stuff that i already purchased for my setup cost me about 2500 bucks and then obviously i'm gonna get the actual ipad um but yeah this is what my setup is gonna look like for the ipad obviously this is not like a whole like everyday setup it's just like when i want to type and i don't want to use my laptop or something like that then i'll have another device where i can still get that same functionality without having to be like on the screen you know um, and then I will also be getting the pencil, but um, I will purchase that with the actual tablet. So yeah, that is my update that I wanted to tell you. Um, I just love these colors. It's so pretty. Such a muted pink. And so for my cases, I got two muted pink cases. Obviously on the screen, on like in the pictures and um, they look really muted and close to this color but we'll see when they actually arrive so i got two muted pink ones and one black one so i've got some options just in case so yeah oh the keyboard was uh on promotion on take a lot i got it for about 5 45 i think um so that was clutch got this keyboard and mouse set up for just over a thousand bucks i think about a thousand nineteen uh which is the equivalent of the magic keyboard which is a total of seven thousand something so also um i don't know when i will pick up the camera again because i'm still writing exams but i will see you guys when i see you hi everyone so today is saturday and we went to go see, we went to a movie yesterday, we went to go see Dune, and oh my gosh, 
such a star-studded movie, but also like Timothy Chalamet is absolutely gorgeous and I would watch it again just so I can see him. Um, but I woke up this morning. We didn't have any intentions of going anywhere and Starbucks posted a picture. Should I show you? They posted a picture of their new holiday um, cups and they're like that clear frosted cup that I um, the frosted cup that I use to make my coffee that has the Starbucks logo, they're like that, but they're colored. So I called the Starbucks, so these are the cups. I called the Starbucks um, closest to me and I spoke to someone, she was so lovely and I asked her to keep them aside. I said, I'm coming today. And so she has my cups set aside for me. Apparently there's five colors, these three plus blue and gold. So, uh, I'm going to go pick those up. And they're retailing for 75 bucks a cup. So, not bad at all. Actually, pretty good. And so, I would get all five. But, um, they only have four of the five colors. So, I'm missing a blue one. But, oh, I think I'll live. Maybe. Just barely. Barely. Okay. So yeah, that's where I'm going. Um, it's a Saturday, so I'm definitely not bringing you along. I want to be in and out. Literally going to Starbucks, getting the cups. And coming back out of the mall, because the mall is pretty hectic. Even just going to the mall, like the drive there, I know it's going to be um, just a little... Uh, what's the word? It's going to take a longer than um, any other day of the week. Because everyone's going there right now. So yeah, I still haven't changed my calendar. It's the 6th of November. Just Saturday. Okay. I need to do that when I come back. It's just, it makes me so tired because it's broken. I should probably inquire about it. But also, I don't want to spend the money to fix it. So yeah, I will show you the cups when I get back. But let me head Hey everyone, so I just got back from the mall. I got the goodies. I'm gonna show you. I showed you the cups, so I went to go get them. The first one is this, um, well on their Instagram, they say it's gold. Uh, well, my mom and my sister say it's like an army green color it's like a beigey green color basically and the cut and the straw is beige but this is the first one um this is my least favorite one the next one that i got is a red one this is exactly the same size as my um like the frosted clear one that i have that i always make coffee in um so they have them here but in different colors which I really hope they bring the frosted one. I just think we have to give them time to like get into it. Because they didn't start out with a lot of the merch that they have um, in other places. But I got a red one. They all have glittery specs. Um, you can see the glittery specs on this one. And on the lid. Um, I don't know if you can see it, them on this one. I think you can. And the lid and then I got a green one it, the red and the green are very much Christmas spirits these are only 75 bucks so um, I got all of the colors that they had green I really like this green one I'm not a green fan but I'm like I'm slowly getting into it and then the last two are my favorite I got this blue one how pretty a really nice royal blue mm, and you can see the and you can see the glittery specs um, and then my favorite one purple obviously so this is 710 millimeters um, that you can put in this cup but I love this purple so yeah that's my set of new cups no I do not have covered space 
for these cups so I think I'm gonna keep one in my cupboard downstairs and then the rest are gonna be put away because I don't have anywhere to display them like I'm taking up so much of my mom's cupboard space the problem this is a problem I acknowledge that am I gonna fix it the jury's still out on that one so yeah those are all my cups and I will probably see you guys next week because I'm not really doing anything um, today or tomorrow. So yeah. Hi everyone. Um, we're going to the mall. I thought I'd bring you along. I'm looking for a gift for my sister, my baby sister and my older sister. So both of their birthdays, my older sister's birthday is next week. Yeah. Younger sister's birthday was last month. So I'm gonna go get her a gift. I'm gonna bring it along. Okay. I'm gonna get her a Starbucks cup. She asked for one after I got like the plethora. But yeah, let's go. Okay, so I finished my exams yesterday. <sighs> Nightmare. Um, but I was thinking because I've been so like into reading this entire year i haven't watched a lot of tv and so i really want to get back into it some of the shows that i watched before have new um seasons so i want to watch all of that uh, there's some new shows that came out some new movies i want to watch all of them so i thought we could definitely watch well i'll watch and i'll come back and i'll tell you um, what I like, what I don't like, but yeah, I recently rewatched Bridgerton. If you know me, you know I don't rewatch anything. I'm not a rewatcher of things at all. Um, it's like one and done. But I watched Bridgerton before, just like regular, and then when the hype was like really hyped, but then it kind of like died down, and then I went onto TikTok, and there was um this duo um female that were creating songs for the show and so when i watched it again i had the songs playing in my head at the parts where they're relevant and it just uh, i wish they would just like merge it together and do it but um yeah i loved it i love all the princessy stuff i love the castles, the architecture, the the gardens. Oh my gosh, there's this one scene in the show. It's my favorite. Um, where they where they decide to do this whole like ruse. Um, is it called the ruse? Yeah. Where they tr decide to trick people into thinking that they're together, or rather they're courting each other, and so they're in this like beautiful garden. There's fireworks. It's just my favorite. My favorite scene. So yeah, I just love it. everything so beautiful. Um, so yeah, I rewatched that and then I'm gonna watch some other stuff. I will still be reading, but I've hit my goal, so I'm not really too stressed about that. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go to the mall now. So let's go. <laughs> Christmas time, I light up a fire, gather friends and family, have a bite to eat and some Christmas sweets, chilling out and watch TV, wrapping up the gifts with my fingertips, making up some fancy rhymes, just got something fun for my special one, but my love don't cost a dime, waiting for Santa to come, he'll be knocking on I'm not one of them, the three wisest men, but I got an open heart. If you feel alone, just stop by my home, I don't care about who you are. 
If you make the trip, have a little sip talking about the good old times. How they did it then back in Bethlehem. Hi everyone. Um so it's much later now. Uh, I think I uh, lost both of you before we left the house to go to the mall. So on our way to the mall, um we decided to go to the movies today. So we left the house at around 12, 10 past 12. Um, went to Clearwater, did everything that we needed to do, and then we went to the movies at Cradlestone. Um, we watched Eternals. Chef's Kiss, loved every second of it. It's like one of the best movies I've seen in such a long time. So I really, really thoroughly enjoyed it, and I cannot wait for the next one, especially the ending. It was amazing. But when we went to um, Clearwater, I got some stuff from Edgis. Um, I'm going to try them on right now, but I'm going to show you before I do that. Um, first thing that I picked up is this bra pack uh, from Playtex. Apparently Playtex is closing. Um, like, whatever stock you find, that's the last of it. Like, it's it's done. Um, so this is on sale. It went from $369.95 to $250. So I bought this. Um, it's a nice emeraldy green blue color. And then a maroon red. And then I got this. Is it a cami? I don't think so. Let's read. Um, this is from the brand Shelly. And I got this in a 3XL. Um, this was 200 bucks as a pack of two and they are night dresses I believe for these silky night um, slips uh, you'll see that properly when I tried on but it, it's a pack of two so it came with this beautiful um, champagne pinky color and then this one has the red red this one has the black lace detailing by the V um, and then I picked up the sports bra from uh, Pro Action there we go Pro Action it was 200 bucks but everything on this rack from Pro Action they had quite a few racks everything on the rack was 50% off so I paid 100 bucks for this beautiful sports bra and then I got these Breaker shorts also from Pro Action, and these were also 200 bucks and they were 50% off. So I got them for 100 bucks. They're so cool. They have pockets. We're going to try them on and see if they fit. I didn't try anything on because we were rushing to make it to the movies on time. And then I got the matching um, sports bra. It's got this crisscross detailing at the back. Um... You can't really see it properly, but that that might help you. There we go. Um, it's got this crisscross detailing at the back, and it's got the band that's on the shorts, and these were also two hundred bucks. So I paid a hundred bucks for that. And then I got some gym leggings because I have been I'm in need of new gym leggings. These also have pockets. And these were $2.50, so I paid half of that as well because they were 50% off. And they're all in a size 2X. So I'm going to try them on, see if they all fit. And if they don't, I'll just take them back. And then at Foshimi, I got some undies. Am I going to show you? I don't know. We'll see. I might show you. I might cut this part out. But they're... Just kidding. Um, I got this pair of undies. So... Cute. It's the either um, I got the navy one and the purple one. So yeah. So let's try on the stuff. So this is the first slip dress. Um, it's just a silky little night gown. Um, on the hanger they looked really short, so I was confused whether they were tops or not. Um, but they're long enough to be dressed. Um, the size is quite roomy. Then again, you don't want anything too hugging when you go to bed. But this is a 3X and I could have easily done a 2X. But yeah, um, this is fun. 
and cute. I like it. I think I like the other color better, but this is cute too. Okay, so this is the other color. Definitely prefer this one. Um, again, a little too big, but I didn't want anything tight on me anyway. I'm just so used to, you know that mentality where you just get the biggest size? Just the biggest size in normal stores is what usually works. Um, so that's what I did. I didn't even think about it. Um, but yeah, this is super cute. Uh, very nice. Okay, so these are the biker shorts. Um, fit really nicely. Got the pockets on the side. Um, and that's how high they go. At the back, they come up until there. And then this is the sh what's this called? Sports bra. The little pads are sitting up here and not down here where they're supposed to be. But that's because there's no hole on this side for me to pull them down properly. So I'm going to leave that. Um, in theory, this is a cute, it's got this little peephole, as you can see. Um, in theory, this is cute, but I don't like how much tension it's putting on my neck. It's almost like a halter neck, like a bikini. Um, the crisscross is right by my neck. And then it like crosses again, you know? So I could probably adjust that maybe, but eventually it's just gonna move right back to like my neck right here. Not a fan of that. And my back is pretty much eating all the straps. So this one's not my favorite. I might keep it, might not, but I'm definitely keeping the shorts because I do need black back shorts anyway. So I'm really glad I got these. Um, I would not wear them together. I probably wouldn't wear this at all. This top. I'm gonna wear this all the time though. So let's try on the next stuff. I'll be right back. Okay. Lastly, I got these beautiful tights. I love this color. Um, they've got the pockets on the side. My phone should fit in there real nice. They're pretty wide. Um, and then I this is the bra not really a fan of how like it comes up here I, I just feel like something's gonna happen right there I don't know um the padding is sitting right here so don't mind that okay so these are the um this is the back of the pants I love this color so pretty um and yeah they're pretty opaque my mom says you can't see anything really and they're pretty strong um, you uh, you can see a little bit of um, cellulite if that bothers you. Maybe just try them on at the store. Um, but yeah, this is what it looks like. And that's it, folks. That's all she wrote. Um, I will see you guys. Not tomorrow. Oh, who knows? I will see you guys later. Um, hi, everyone. So I just got back from, so we went this morning to go do my sister's hair and we kind of just all did our hair. And then um, after that we went to the mall. Um, my sister wanted to get a bigger size. She got a set yesterday from Pro Action. She wanted to get a bigger size um, for the top because the top was just, uh, it was cropped. And she felt like it was just too um, short um, after factoring in her bust. She felt like it was too short, so I'm going to go exchange that. And then I took back the bra, the black bra that had the yellow and black band at the bottom. I took it back because I just, it was so um, uncomfortable by the neck. And my neck is already such a sensitive area. I don't want anything that puts strain on that. So I decided to take it back. It just wasn't going to work. We went back and they had taken down all the 50% off, um boards and so um we asked someone there and they said that uh i can exchange it and i'll still get that 50 percent because i bought it on that 50 percent so i took back the bra and i got these cute little leopard print biker shorts <laughs> how adorable these are pretty short but 
They're cycle shorts. These were also, um, it's also 200 bucks, so I got them for 100 bucks, even though the special is not there today. But these super cool little feature is looking at them, you just see a normal seam, but they actually have a pocket here in the waistband. There's a little hidden pocket, just super cute. Um, but I got these in a double XL as well. So, yeah, I'm gonna try these on and I'll show you what they look like. Okay, so these are the shorts. Um, they are pretty stretched out. That's why you can see like a white, um, like a washed out look to them as opposed to like something like this. That's a little more, um, not stretched out. So they are pretty stretched out on me, but they fit. Um, they're not uncomfortable or anything. And this whole back panel is the hidden zip so they fit really nicely they're not digging into my skin at any point um so they're comfortable they're just stretched out i don't know if you can see better there as opposed to something opaque like the back yeah you can see so yeah these are the shorts i'm gonna keep them um i will see you guys when i see you